Hello everyone, my name is Antoine and welcome to another repair video on the channel. And today we have an iPhone XS Max with a charging problem and not reading the battery correctly. Now I already tried a couple of batteries and it's the same because the problem is not in the battery itself. And as you can see the device has been already in a repair shop. Obviously they tried to remove the battery and they almost fucked the wireless charger. So now I'm going to show you how the phone behaves and of course just a little reminder that do not forget when you change the battery on the models XS or XS Max and later you cannot see the battery health in the battery settings and it will give you an important message regarding your battery and that of course because it can only recognize the battery uh, management system on the original one and it can uh, connect the original battery with the logic port. So it can read the information of the battery, but you can still read the battery health in programs like Three Tools on Windows or Coconut Battery on Mac OS. And now let's wait for the phone to boot up. And as you can see, the phone is not charging. Let me just put my password over here. Here we go. Okay. There we go. As you can see, the phone is very laggy, and that because uh, it's not the phone is not reading the battery and it's not charging because uh, he cannot read the battery, and the problem is in the logic board. Let's go to settings. The phone is very laggy, and the battery, I guess, it's charged like 13 or 14 percent, but still it cannot show because it cannot read the battery. And uh, of course, we have the important uh, battery health message. It's okay. And now I'm going to uh, connect the same battery on an iPhone, a fully working iPhone XS, because I don't have an XS Max, but it's okay. It's the same connector. There's the battery. That's connected to a fully working iPhone XS. It's still, it's not uh, his original one, but it will charge and it will show you, uh, show us the, um, battery health on programs and how much percentage of the battery let's connect the phone to to the charger and as you can see the phone is charging with no problems 12 percent charged and uh, it still will give us the uh, battery health problem issues but it's still the phone is smooth because the phone is reading the battery with no problems let's go to the battery settings and as you can see the same uh, message but it's okay uh, i guess the battery is working fine i already tried this battery also but uh, it's still the same on the iphone xs max and now let's go under the microscope to see what the heck is going on with this iphone xs max Okay, now I didn't remove the, um, the board from the body. Let's just zoom a little bit, and as you can see, not, uh, not the best looking one, I guess, the battery connector. Not the best one, no. I don't like how it looks like, not the best. Now as you can see, the battery connector is a little bit damaged and there's no capacitor over there, no need to, of course. Uh, now, of course, let's begin uh, measuring the battery connector. Let me just put my multimeter on the screen, here we go. And let's measure, okay, 400. Okay. Looks like everything's okay, I guess. Okay. Okay, ground, okay. Everything looks fine, I guess. Uh, now let's zoom a little bit and see how those MOSFETs looks like. Now the Q3200 and the Q3201. Let's check the Q3200, uh, Q uh, 3200. Let's just, let me just clean my tweezers. Here we go, let's check. Just a little, little, little touch. On the MOSFET. Let's see. Okay. It's a little bit loose, I guess. Just a little bit. This 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 MOSFET looks looks very suspicious for me, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, you can see you can move it with your tweezers. I'm not even trying, and you can see it's moving. Uh, so I guess 
I'm going to clean the shit by replacing the battery connector and replacing the Q300-2000. 3200, why am I saying this? Uh, Q3200 uh, MOSFET and see if the phone will back to normal and will read the battery correctly. So, let's go. Okay, now that our work is done, now let's connect the battery again, the same battery, and test our work. Okay, that's a good sign. <laughs> Apple logo, here we go. Let me just connect the uh, charger. Okay. And as you can see, immediately it took the charger and it's charging. Let me just put the password. Okay, here we go. As you can see, the phone is smooth, working okay, charging with no problems. Now let me connect the, um, the phone to the 3 Tools program to check the, uh, the battery health. Here we go. And as you can see, everything looks okay. Battery health, disconnect it, there you go. And uh, I guess everything is working okay. There is a battery health, there is a cycle count, and the phone is charging. So, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day.